Okay. My team asked me today, well, we were talking, we were just joking with it on, I, we kind of laughed <laughs> today with this. We really did. Oh, my battery's about to die. So I was like, I gotta hurry up and do this video before I go to bed. And I can put it on YouTube and yeah, win-win. But, uh, what would I tell my younger self? And I, I think it's funny when I say younger self, because I was 26 when I started Pink Zebra, okay? Right now I'm 29. What would I tell my, how do I put this? What would I tell me being a consultant? So it goes consultant, executive consultant, manager, senior manager, EM, or executive manager, and then director. So what would I tell the consultant in me, right? What would I tell me? And from the director me. So, and that's a lot there. That's uh, August 12th of 2016 is when I joined Pink Zebra. Mm -hmm. So, consultant in me, that's the consultant crystal. Uh, my first 90 days, I sold $2,719. So, that's pretty cool, right? I mean, I remember looking at the our quick start and I'm like, $500? I don't know if I'm going to sell it. I don't know if people are going to buy this. But little did I know, the sales just took off and I couldn't believe it. Cause like the minute people started getting the sprinkles in their hands and their home and they started using it is when finally it, that clicked for me being. So that's consulting crystal in 2016. So this is a trip down memory lane. So what I was doing in 2016, I was working at a nursing home part time because I, I still do my photography full time. And I did Pink Zebra. Still four kids and a man child. Man child can count, right? So it's five kids. But yeah, we just bought this house I'm currently in today. Uh, my confidence level was like good, but it wasn't like 100%. Not the person I am today. Like in 2016, oh my. Oh my. Uh, I was going out drinking a little bit sometimes too. I truly was. And I, I just remembered I hated it and I wanted to change it. Uh, I wanted to do a lot more different things. I'm gonna lie, I wanted to, do, I wanted to like conquer the world when I, was in, when I was 26. Now let's fast forward to when, our 2017 for Pink Zebra. So this time I'm a manager, right? Manager. Uh, what else is there? And oh, I promoted to manager and senior manager, both in that year. Uh, we Pink Zebra started picking up, but if you would have asked me six months into the company, my first six months in, if I was going to be where I'm at today, I would have been like, yeah, no. Or do you think would you make this a career? Like, yeah, uh, direct sales, hot. You're you're kidding. But little did I know that with the amount of patience and earning the first trip to Panama was pretty cool. In my first six months in the company, I earned the trip. Loved that. I ate it up. Uh, my husband loved it. We First time we got to like fly somewhere together and a trip and we got married when we were 18. So we never got to do anything. We had to file for passports and never knew how to do that. Oh, that was so funny. But then fast forward to 2017. I, I, something huge happened that year. I have no idea what it was. Maybe it was because I started traveling. I went to my first reunion, got, rode my first airplane. Just everything, you know, like everything started coming together. <clears throat> but the coolest thing about it all, I got number four in points for Dominican Republic, that trip. And I earned it for two. So like we got a walkout swimming pool. Like it was top of the top amazing. Hands down, loved the whole experience. Truly, like my husband, it was just, I, I don't know. It was a match. Dominican Republic has a true, my heart's there. And then let's fast forward to 2018. So this time I could make money um, with Pink Zebra, obviously. My husband's supporting me in the beginning. He was my biggest downfall. He would criticize me, make fun of it, all of the above. Like, I know some of you girls might have to deal with somebody like that, but that's what my husband was to me whatever fast forward then he thanked me and now 2018 I hit EM executive manager that was pretty cool and when I hit executive manager we got to go to Ireland I earned the trip for one not for two but I earned it for one still 
But also in 2018, the coolest thing that happened is I got second place in both frontline sponsoring and frontline promotions out of the whole entire company. Me, me, Crystal Kelly in Iowa, little town, small town girl. I always say, like, I'm a small town girl that literally I have a, there's a bar and a church on every corner and it's all on how you're networking. And I never understood networking. And I think anytime you travel, it changes you. Like I was so scared to travel by myself, so scared to go through security by myself, so scared to talk to some random person and ask them for directions. And now I'm all, I'm gonna catch a flight. Hey, like I laugh about it and I joke and just, you hear it in my voice. Um, how I approach people. I quit drinking like two years ago. I've been sober. haven't like really, well, I did have a sip of alcohol. I'm not going to lie. I did have a sip of alcohol on my director's trip, but it's not that bad. I don't know. It's just, I wake up looking forward to Saturdays or not Saturdays, but Monday mornings. I love waking up to Monday mornings and everybody thinks it's crazy. They're like, Crystal, really? Yeah, I really do. I love waking up on Monday mornings. Because Monday, I get to start my whole, I get to plan my whole week and being my own boss. Oh, here. So back to 2017, I ended up quitting the nursing home. Mm -hmm. Quit the nursing home job and focused completely on, I dedicated it to Pink Zebra and my photography. Right? Those two jobs. Uh, as you can tell, oh, maybe I'll switch it so you can see it. A lot has came a long way since then. I mean, wait, hold on, let me see if I can flip it. You can probably see a mess. I got this cute office area. Yes. Whoop. Let's turn the flash off. But fast forward to 2007, or 18 now. So we're going to go back to 2018. 2018. Again, I mean, well, 2017, or Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville. Sorry, I said it wrong because people will correct you. Louisville, Kentucky. 18, or then I was in 2018, hit executive manager. Oh, oh my, it was just such a blessing. Like, I'm like waking up every morning thankful and grateful for something. I, I truly am. And my self-confidence, it's not like I got a big ego ahead. It's just I'm more, A, knowledgeable. And I think are working with some wonderful women in the company and the different ages have taught me, and I know I got to say you guys, sorry, but has taught me to be patient with myself patient that not everything is going to come at once and like I had it mapped out I called I remember calling home office and talking to Patty Parker you're going to know her if you join Pink Zebra but I called her and said Patty who's the young how old's the youngest director in Pink Zebra and she didn't really give me an age I really don't think she did that day but I was like you know I'm gonna be it I'm gonna let you know I'm gonna be it and little did I know I think I am I don't know I gotta ask her but Patty am I but we're going to fast forward to 2019, so this year. Pink Zebra, I I was able to finally wedding photography. Guess what? I love doing photography with all my heart, but I hated every weekend on the weekends that I'd be doing a wedding. And I could be out traveling somewhere, helping somebody on a team. Like, I even got this. I met so many people through my travels. Oh, I don't have the book over here. But it's a travel book, and, like, it's 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 amazing to see all the places that I've been in without pink zebra I would never have done it I got to go to Phoenix Arizona for reunion brought back again tops or top sponsoring and top uh frontline promotion second place I'll take second place whatever again two years in a row and I'm like yes this is awesome so then the, a couple months later I promoted to director yeah I never that was the number one goal and I did it. It still doesn't feel real. My kids are so into helping me with Pink Zebra. You have no idea. It's been like a family thing around here. My husband can sit there and tell you about it. He'll talk to you. He'll talk to your wife about joining. Like, it, it's awesome. I love how much our family comes together. And it, it became a family. It's just not mom's business. It's the family business with it. The Kelly name. So that's why I always say, hey, the the Kelly family challenge or something. I always do that because we all come together. Like if mom's working towards trip points or if mom's doing this, like my kids will come together and my, my husband even. And I love, I love it more than anything. So 
financially now, I, well, I haven't been director that long. So I'll let you know if the paychecks, if they keep coming like they are. I make more than my husband now. Mm-hmm. And that's pretty nice. So by next time this year, I'm hoping you're going to hear a video from me. I'm hoping you'll hear a video from me saying that my husband quit his job because he hates it so much and I feel so bad for him. And what else? But what I would tell my consultant, because we're like the title consultant, executive consultant, whatever, no matter what your rank is, girl, calm down. That's what I'm going to tell myself. No matter what your rank is, calm down. Everything in life happens for a reason. Uh, don't count on the people that came into you with paying zebra that they're going to stick around like you did. Because I had a lot of girls that joined and they ended up going. And I mean, just because it, it just wasn't for them, maybe. Who, who knows? But also, I wish I would have taught myself more on... How do I put it? Like customer based stuff. A lot more on that. I try, I wish I would have done it. Or learned a little bit. Like try to gain the knowledge that I gained this last year on social media marketing. Like huge. I regret that. Um, What else do I wish I would have told my younger Pink Zebra self? <laughs> um, you need to be your own idol. Mm -hmm. It's a huge thing. Don't compare your success to the next person next to you. And I know I say that a lot. And you guys are like, whatever, Crystal, you're just saying that because you're saying it. No. Do not compare your success to the girl sitting right next to you. Because I promise you, that girl might not be there next year. And it's it's a it's a thing. It happens. I mean, that's any direct sales company you work in. I mean, what is it? Three months, then they got nothing they're working for because all their quick starts are done. Six months in. They're, they're, yeah, yeah, they're going with it, but until the people that stay in it for a year or more are the one that's your lifers. And I'm considered a lifer. <laughs> I really want it to work. I love these products, but it's not going good at all. And Michelle, my biggest advice to you, girl, right now, and this is what I'm, I want to tell my younger Pink Zebra self don't rush, go at your own pace. Um, Make your own goals. Do you know my one goal every single month was just to solve four hundred dollars, mm -hmm. four hundred dollars. Because why? It was the pay rank title, four hundred dollars. And I mean, if I sold over it, it was always a bonus. Truthfully, it was always a bonus. <sighs> the other thing I would tell my younger pink zebra self is don't overstock on certain things. Only purchase stuff <clears throat> or have in your stock stuff that you will use that you will use in your own home. That's what I tell my younger self too. <laughs> For sure, hands down. Uh what else would I tell my younger self? Take as many pictures as you can when you go places. I didn't in the beginning. But also I didn't because I wasn't comfortable. Now I'm like it, it's it's crazy. It truly is. Um, support, encourage, uh, never belittle another woman. There's always room for crowns to go around. Every girl had, like, we can always share, so no fighting over crowns. And I can't believe how much I get excited when one of my team members promote. So I'm going to start sharing it with you guys. That's why on my page you're going to see it a lot more. Because I'm happy for my team. Like, if they're doing good and they're doing big things, like, I want to congratulate y'all. And I give their page a shout out so people can go look at them, check them out. Um, what else? My one goal I still have not reached in Pink Zebra. I have not earned the big Paisley yet. I want that big Paisley. I have not earned it yet. <laughs> but in due time, it will come. Uh, the other thing I want to tell my younger self, you did as much as you can. Don't overwork yourself, but also understand that you overworking yourself, Crystal got you to where you're at today. But be more wise on the, how you spend your time. That's a huge thing. If you need to learn something, girl, you better go on YouTube. You better go read some 
I don't even know. This goes to anybody in direct sales, but you better go watch a video, read some blogs, and YouTube that stuff. And that's what I tell my younger that pink zebra self. <laughs> uh, your friends are your friends and family are not always going to be your customers, your loyal customers. That is facts. Um, what else? And that's that was a hard pill for me to swallow in the beginning. They get two years in. It was a hard, it was hard for me to realize that, and I didn't get it. But I do. I understand it now because my most loyal customers are people I never met before. Um, what else? This like this can go to any direct sales company. Oh, focus on one direct sales company, girlfriend. Quit doing like I. This Pink Zebra was the only direct sales company I've ever joined, ever. Because I think if you would, if I would have joined multiple ones, I wouldn't have succeeded the way I did. Because you want support from this company, this company, this company from your friends. So you got three different companies when it all could have went to one. Makes sense. Uh, what else? Oh, hopefully. So my goal this. Okay, I'm gonna tell you my goals this year. Earn a Paisley. Boom. Earn a trip to or the trip again. I, I, I always said, so it'll be my fourth trip. I can't believe that because we already went to Ireland in 2018. Earn the trip, Paisley. Build more girls or more team members, not just girls because there's guys that sell pink people too. And train. Give anything and everything, like the knowledge that I have. Make sure I train it to my team. And I think I've been doing good with it. Like let them learn from my mistakes kind of. But if somebody, if you fall, fall forward. Don't fall back. There's times I, I got in a rut with Pink Zebra. Where I was like, oh, you know, sales aren't there. This isn't happening. But you know what? I own my own photography business. And guess what? I felt the same way with my photography business. You're going to have high and low months. You just got to prepare for them. Do not go spending crazy. There's no point on doing that. Unless you actually can filter the money back. Then go ahead and do that. Mm -hmm. hands down never underestimate somebody because of their profile pic or where they came from because I promise you the people that succeed more in any in self-made millionaires come from the worst backgrounds ever like me mm -hmm. my family didn't have it all together <laughs> we were straight up the Gallaghers I don't know if you watch that show but Always stay true to who you are. Keep being unique. And always study. Always do your research, girl. I gotta watch this video like a year from now to see what I said. But understand that some things like the cards aren't gonna fall right on the table and it's okay. Move past it. Seriously, move past that. Life sucks a lot of times. Yes, it does. I agree, girl. But get up, put your big girl panties on, and move forward. And focus on do, doing three things a day. All you need to do. You don't need to do 12 things, 15. Just do three things a day, and I promise you, your life is going to be less stressed. And do, it's okay to put down the phone for a second. It's okay not to message people the first five minutes. It's okay to take a breath and a break. I, I, I guess I got to tell you that, Crystal. It's okay, it's okay to take a break. Um, what else would I tell my younger self? You got this. Get a good solid group of girls and call those girls. <laughs> oh, I gotta call it. My special forces. Uh, OPP. Anyway, yeah, they'll get it. And always stay humble and kind like you have been. You don't have to brag like the next girl. Just be unique. Don't ever change yourself or your your morals. Never ever. Do not sell your soul to the devil. That's what I'd be telling my younger pink zebra self. Mm -hmm. And don't feed into drama. I mean, do not. That's any company you're in or any job, career. Just stay away from it and you'll be good. And stay away from negative people. Negative Nancy's and Debbie the Downers can wreck your whole day.
and it's okay not to do stuff or when I was making sand uh, beads for sprinkles girl whatever they're the same girl that was laughing at you in Fl Orlando Florida I hope I could find out who that woman was those two ladies making fun of my YouTube channel because I couldn't pronounce the stuff right look at I mean it no I can't do it. I can't sing either but no that's what I would tell my younger pink zebra self go get them I have so much more I'm going to be doing. 2020, y'all aren't ready for this. <laughs> but always stay, like I said, thankful and grateful. Continue to say that because that will truly determine how things go in your life. And you're going to have setbacks. Life will hit you, such as death. I've dealt with family members dying, brothers, grandma, like you name it, it, it friends, like hard but keep going I don't care how hard it is keep going and if anybody wants to talk down on you like I kept getting called the kid and I hated it because I, I was called like the kid on everything and it would make me so mad and I never understood why they called me the kid but little did I know this kid proved them all wrong haha -ha. so keep your head up chin or keep your chin up kid <laughs> what else I don't know. Ask. Don't be scared to ask. If you need help, ask. Reach out to some random person in Pink Zebra. That would be the things I would tell my younger Pink Zebra self. It truly would. So, I guess a year from now, I gotta watch this video and see what I would told my 20-year-old self. Haha. -ha. But you can make it. You will. I don't care if you're from a big city, small town, whatever. I'm from a small town. I have so many people that think I'm from a big city and I keep laughing. I say, no, honey, this is a small town. Dubuque is not that big. But if I can be it, like literally a direct sales success story, so can you. You also have to self-teach, train, and just because there's another pink zebra consultant or whatever in your area, that don't mean nothing. You guys don't hang out with the same friends. You don't have the same family members. You don't work at the same job you don't there's so many different ways you can like mark it out so yeah I'm new I do ask a lot have been working on the training suit that's good though that's amazing that I'm as I'm super proud you know what? I'm gonna tell you I'm super proud of you today girl because you're if you're new and you don't know at least you're asking I didn't in the beginning I was so scared to even say anything I was like oh I didn't want to step on anybody's toes so that's the advice I'd give me my 2016 consultant me and girl you better quit it right now that's the other thing I tell myself is that you're gonna make it the days I cried over stuff don't cry over it if it ain't gonna affect you in five years let it be huge things and you're, well, you will have a bad month. That's another thing. How are you going to get by it? How are you going to get past it? Prepare yourself for it. That's any business. I don't care what you do. And you should have known this. Because I own a business. You should own. You should know this, Crystal. But, I don't know. My goal, again, for next year is in 2020. I'm saying it out loud, too. Get my camper. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to get my tramp. I can't. I'm going to get my camper and travel with the sprinkles. Do a little things with that. Uh, I'm going to earn it. I want to earn a pay. I'm going to. I need to keep saying I'm going to earn a paisley. And I don't know what else I'm going to do. I'm just going to do some more things. I'm going to do it all because I'm that extra girl we all know me that way so that's the advice I would give my younger pink zebra self so go ahead and catch the replay like subscribe comment if you guys are like watching these videos so at least I know so I understand what kind of content you guys like to listen to but that's the advice I would give my younger pink zebra self so I've been in the company since August 12 2016 so a little over three years 
So let's see what my fourth year brings, right? Well, yeah, I got a little time. Let's see what the fourth year brings. That should be fun. Outside events in the winter are amazing because your sprinkles don't melt, honey. Yes, ma'am. Do them outside. Your sprinkles do not melt. You want to do them. I would hate to do them inside or outside. When it's hot, you got to get a cooler so those sprinkles aren't melting. That's what I did at least. But also, I would tell my younger self real quick, work what's best for you right now. You can always, I promise you, you can always, always Go learn a different way. Well, I'm glad my videos help some of y'all. I really, like, seriously, Rita, thank you, Michelle. I'm dead serious. Like, hearing stuff like that or reading the comments like that, you guys, you have no idea how much that changes my days, knowing that I'm helping other women like you. Well, I'm glad. But other than that, I'm going to get off, so go ahead and catch the replay. And let me know what you think. Goodbye. <laughs>